ahead and get into basically bits me tripping uh posted this morning and i told him i'm gonna steal this for the live show let me make sure there's no cursing or anything in the replies all right cool bottom line looks like eth proof of stake merge is going to be delayed a bit longer here's the leak unless it gets this squashed pretty quickly or this isn't a leak this is a problem good find on cornell good for you uh for you all good on you all for keeping the community informed so what's happening right we got eth getting delayed why well here's why this was submitted on the 2nd of march 2022 this is very recently and very very close very very close to the uh the proposed merge date right and that's a big problem because as you can see here this is on march 2nd and it's two attacks on proof of stake ghost ethereum so they say here in the summary, we present two attacks targeting the proof of stake Ethereum consensus protocol. The first attack suggests a fundamental conceptual incompatibility between proof of stake and the greedy heaviest observed subtree, which is ghost fork choice paradigm employed by proof of stake Ethereum. In a nutshell, proof of stake allows an adversary with a vanishing amount of stake to produce an unlimited number of equivocating blocks. While most equivocating blocks will be orphaned, such orphaned uncle blocks still influence fork choice under the ghost paradigm, bestowing upon the adversary devastating control over the canonical chain. While the latest message-driven LMD aspect of current proof-of-stake Ethereum prevents a straightforward application of this attack, our second attack shows how LMD specifically can be exploited to obtain a new variant of the balancing attack that overcomes a recent protocol addition that was intended to mitigate balancing type attacks. Thus, in its current form, proof of stake Ethereum without and with LMD is vulnerable to our first and second attack, respectively. You can go check out the links down in the description if you want to go over all of the data um, and you know dig into it deeper. Um, but for the miners and well everybody else what does this mean well the difficulty bomb is set to go off in june right and so the idea was essentially that proof of stake would need to happen by june but as we've been been seeing for the past six years on ethereum this is nothing new we essentially have a difficulty bomb ready to go off and they're saying they're going to get proof of stake ready, then something bad happens, and then they delay, and basically they do another fork, and they defuse the difficulty bomb, and then we basically have the amount of time till the next difficulty bomb goes off to continue to mine on the network, or utilize proof of work as a consensus mechanism, and then they say that that's going to be the next release date. As we saw with, of course, Vitalik Buterin, Earlier this, I guess, last month at this point, earlier this year, though, he said some say June, some say July, some say August. Uh, at this point, this has to get squashed pretty quick, as Bitsby Trippin said, and I agree with him. Obviously, this sort of attack's not going to go well if it got released in this manner and the data is out there. You know, people are going to manipulate it and it's not going to be good. Of course, we still have other problems on ETH, including MEV, which has never been solved. There are other coins that actually are built completely on the idea of basically preventing MEV. A perfect use case scenario or a perfect release, excuse me, of a cryptocurrency right now would be, of course, something that is programmable uh, as far as on the blockchain that essentially has in some sort of lower fees has a high transaction throughput and basically blocks MEV. And then at that point, you know, maybe there would be a competitor. I think there's a couple out there. Uh, I won't name any specifically for fear of, you know, pumping and dumping or whatnot at this point. We could go over it in a different video though. Um, yeah, so 
what would that timeline look like? Because I know everybody's going to have that question. I have to say that I don't know. And I'm not sure anybody would know what the new timeline would be. I don't know what the default extension of a difficulty bomb is. But I assume they would pick the closest. So the last one happened in, what was it, November? It's been a, been a while. When was EIP 1559? Oh, EIP 1559. When was the release date for that? It was created in April was the first one. Anyways, I want to say it was like November. Maybe it was earlier. August. Anyways, a few months, 8 to 12 months, somewhere around there. I'll get the details for another video. Maybe you guys know in chat. Um, so, I think we're probably looking at a delay at this point because of how close it is, how long the delay will be. I don't know at this point, you know. Um, I would assume 8 to 12 months. But that's not financial advice, and I cannot be certain of that right now. And so that's pretty much where it, it ends for us as miners. You can continue to mine Ethereum. I think we're going to get past June pretty easily at this point. I, yes, I, I think we're definitely past June. Let's say earliest August, which I don't know, even that feels really soon so i hope you enjoyed this clip from the crypto mining morning show every monday through friday 7 45 a.m pacific and 10 45 a.m eastern time you can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show you can check that out down here thanks for watching and i'll see you next tuesday